This is Roll With It Unplugged, a casual take on telling improvised stories through role-playing games. Today's episode is the first of a three-part series featuring Lasers and Feelings by John Harper of 1-7 Design. Adam Doc Bracken is joined by Sarah Wells and GM Brian McKittrick. Space. Some would say it's one of those frontiers that you get to eventually. And it's also really big. So big, we lost the text scroll that goes in front of this episode. That's okay. This is space. Dangerous beings and catastrophes lurk around every corner of space. And against it all is the Consortium, a human-based organization that leads humans and its allies to brighter futures and a safer universe for all. That sounds mildly racist. Mm. Spacist. Spacist? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Speciest? Speciest. Yeah, that's probably about right. Uh, At the forefront of this are explorer explorer class vessels like the Raptor, in charge of mapping out unexplored regions of space and discovering new worlds, new civilizations, and new dangers to, to overcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, at the helm of the raptor is, well, usually at the helm of the raptor is Captain Darcy, an illustrious, decorated captain of the of the consortium fleet. So what happened to that guy? Uh, Unfortunately, he was struck down into a psychic coma by something else, some entity that the consortium has not encountered yet. Oh, oh. yeah! That was like, that was, that, it was pudding in the cafeteria. I was distracted. Psychic pudding. Mm. We really should, like, stop off at a space station. and mm. Drop him off. Yeah, get him some help. Mm. So, um, who is talking? Would you like to introduce yourselves and your characters? Yes, I am Grebo Ipswich, weirdly gray, dangerous explorer. And why were you assigned to the Raptor? Uh, well, my purpose here on the Raptor is, of course, to solve weird space mysteries. And what was the last space mystery you've solved. Ah, yes. It was the dangerous mystery of the twin spires of Cantaloon. What happened to them? There were three. Ah. It was triplets. They renamed the place after you left, huh? They did. In fact. They they were a binary system. That's weird. Did, did, they, did, did they have no concept of the number three? Right. I see two. There's only two. How can I express myself differently? So basically, any number that's two or greater is two. (laughs) And who are you, strange alien lady? I am Dash Stormbringer. I'm the pilot of this ship. Ah. We met last week, don't you remember? No. What happened to the last ship you were were assigned to, Dash? And why you got moved to the Raptor? (sighs) Well... I have this kind of um, thing with engineers. See, I actually know a few things about getting the ship to go where I want it to go. There's some really good precision stuff, but they don't really care for extra installs. Why did you jailbreak our engines? Because I am so sick of the corporations dictating what we can and can't do in space. This brings me to the next great space mystery. Women. <laughs> Good luck with that. Indeed. I pray you don't find a race with more than one, uh, two genders. Oh, I've seen a few of those. Ooh. Here's your next mystery. So, Captain Darcy, you drop him off at a medical station uh, in, in some sector in, in consortium space, as well as pick up uh, your messages. Um, spam. 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 Facebook notification. Spam. Spam. Ah, consortium men. We should probably open this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, Greetings, Raptor. Uh, This is Space General Captain Specific. Uh, Today, we have a mission for you. Uh, I know recently that Captain Darcy has been rendered incapable of continuing command, and uh, as such, it falls to the senior uh, support staff of his ship. Well, we will inform them. Who told? Uh, not I. 
don't worry about who told you. Also, this is a pre-recorded message. I'm just estimating what you might say. He's good at that. Very. I know. I'm impressed. Uh, recently, we've received word from a, uh, a colony system, uh, recently formed about two years ago, uh, experiencing disturbances in their uh, communications and traffic. Young for a system. The sediment has been um, uh, receiving transports late. Uh, shipments have been gone missing and only to be returned later without their crew. Uh, communications have been jammed periodically by an unknown signal or source. We need you to investigate and find out what hap- is happening there and solve this problem. Eh, I got nothing better to do. Very well. Lay in the coordinates. All right. Fasten your seatbelts, boys. You see all the enzymes tense up. It's like, oh no, not again. I should have saved home today. Wussies. Well, I suppose it's time to do some promotions. Mm. We should uh, take all of those wearing gray and um, issue them red shirts. Mm. I'm, I'm behind this idea for a vague reason that I can't quite put my finger on. Nor I. Mm. But what if they're already wearing red shirts? What do you give them then? A pat on the head and a lollipop, because they're going to need it. Yay! We can institute a a new system by which they wear a pip Ah. Mm. on their red shirt. Is the pip also red? Um, And therefore you cannot see it. No, that would be confusing. Let's make it dark pink. I like it. How about hot pink, though? Uh, Hot pink red shirts? Yes. I wouldn't want them to get excited. (laughs) You might hurt the. I don't know. It's a brighter color. It might, you know, help with their self esteem. The, the cheery color. Very well. Would you like to be a morale officer? Sure. Why not? Okay. Promotions abound. You arrive in the Br- Nebraskian system. <laughs> uh, flat. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. There's there's hardly any mountains on this planet. Uh, most of it is plains of rolling fields. It's an agricultural based society. Which is standard for new settlements. Um, uh, you're not picking any comms traffic up, really. Hello, Nebraskians. Please come in. Is this thing on? Do you have any corn? I can't get a signal through, Captain. Something's interfering with the, the, the bips and the boops. I see. Well... Let's uh, let's beam down an away team. And for, uh, well, transport is offline too, sir. We can't get a signal through. It's almost as if some strange unknown force has dictated my destiny to pilot a shuttle into this mysterious circumstance. Yes. What a weird space mystery this is. You're going to be saying that a lot, aren't you? Perhaps. It's one of those weird space mysteries. Hey, I've got one job. It's stupid, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Careful. That, that talk might be treasonous. Mm. So you want to go down to the planet's surface? Sure. We'll take a shuttle if we need to. Are you going to take new- also, we're taking weapons. Take all of the high-ranking officers and uh, half a dozen red shirts. Mm. Uh, are you sure we only need half a dozen? We'll take two shuttles. Okay. Put all the red shirts in one shuttle. <laughs> so two dozen red shirts in one shuttle... <laughs> But seats four. And all the high-ranking officers in the other. <laughs> so you too. Correct. <laughs> oh, so that, they, that makes room for two additional red shirts in ours without us being uncomfortable. Okay, we'll have two additional red shirts. Very well. Any more would be just unbearable. Yeah, in, inappropriate. Mm-hmm. It's true. So uh, the red shirts pile into the smaller one and <laughs> make it look like a clown car. While you get into your shuttle with two others. Um... Uh, piling a shovel into atmosphere is kind of a thing. Uh, th- there is air friction and all that kind of thing to take care of. So I'm going to need a a lasers roll. Um, mm. Who is at the piloting controls for the shuttle? And that would be the pilot. I'm guessing it's Dash. So um, you get one die base. Plus you are an expert in piloting. Two dice. Oh, dear. So I, I, five and a four. So you get laser feelings, but you do not succeed. So uh, entering the atmosphere is, you know, usually a piece of cake. They teach you this in the Consortium Academy. 
Uh, however, there is a strange storm over Nebraska, or over the landing port in Nebraska. Um, uh, you see the red shirt clown, sh- uh, clown shuttle just disappear from sight. You don't know if they made it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you are getting buffeted by space winds and actual atmosphere winds at the same time, and it is making it hard to uh, pilot. So you do get to ask me a question. Hmm. There, there are suggestions on the page there. Like, Let's see. What kind of storm is this? This... No, when Nebraska was settled... Um, it was chosen because of its its um, habitable atmosphere and um, uh, a soil composition that was uh, that, that was uh, optimal for growing crops and agriculture. Um, its its climate was fairly um, docile. Um, there are rainstorms, but they don't get much stronger than like um, a, a really big thunderstorm. This is like a hurricane, which shouldn't really happen. The, the the climate doesn't create hurricanes normally, so this is this is definitely out of the ordinary. Okay. So if you would like to change your action, you can and re-roll. Okay, and so instead of trying to land at the landing port, I can try to land somewhere else. You, yeah, you could try to like land somewhere else, like uh, outside of the storm or. Okay, so- what features am I seeing on the ground? Are there lakes? Are there Cities I'm going to pull up there. the scan and attempt a scan so that I can help her. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. So you're using you're doing a helping action. Yes. Um, so you get one. Um, you're an explorer, so I would say you're an expert in scanning things. Um, you're not on the bridge of the Raptor itself, um, which has the superior sensors. You're on the shuttle, <coughs> so I don't think you'd be technically prepared then. Okay. So just two d six, and if you succeed, you will give her one die. Right. And this is lasers. Uh, two sixes. Uh, That's a Yeah. Apparently the interference um, caused by whatever was in, uh, affecting communications and transporters um, is also messing with your sensors, and the storm doesn't help at all. So you're pressing buttons wildly. Did you know that there's a really great app installed on this? It's, really? Yeah, it's kind of fun. It, apparently it's about some kind of uh, fantasy RPG... Uh, characters. It, it's turn-based. You'd enjoy this. Okay. Now, <laughs> I leveled up. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, about landing the ship. Okay, so do I have a little visual line of sight? You can't see the surface of the planet because you're in the middle of the storm. Or, okay. well, you're in the storm. But in a hurricane, there's always one place where it's clear. Trying to fly into the eye of the storm. Yes. This is what you think I should yes. do. Yes. Exciting space adventures. I just I just want to point out that actually in real life I'd just try to fly back above the storm. That would probably also work. <laughs> you could do that too. I feel like that would be the smartest thing that I could do is get above the clouds mm-hmm. and then look for the eye. Okay. If I want to land. Uh, this would still I would say now now that you're in the middle of it, this is now gonna be feelings. Okay. Because you have to work on instinct flying technically blind because your sensors are not really working. Uh, so you might, you if you fail, you're probably going to be flying in the wrong direction. See, and now I wish I'd gone with that. Anyway. Okay. So uh, I'm going to say you're an expert. You're still an expert, so you get two die. Okay. One and four. So. Another laser feelings and nothing. <laughs> That's okay. So Sadness. You're bad st- dice. Bad. Shame on you both. You're still getting buffeted around. And, and you, you might be flying upside down now. You can't tell. The, the, the red shirts in the back forgot to pass in their seatbelts. They're bouncing around like pinballs. You guys, get back in your seats. <gasps> Don't make me stop the shuttle. <laughs> okay, so... I what's happening on the clown car. Hmm. Okay, so I need to ask you a question. Uh, do I do we know anything about the surface of the planet, the area that we've flown into? Uh, like the area you're above right now? Yeah. Um, you know from um, older maps and scans from when the colony was settled uh, that Nebraska is flat almost entirely all the way around. Um, so it's unlikely that you're going to run into a mountain before you leave the cloud the cloud line. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the only problem with that is once you g- 
get below the cloud line, you're going to be hit with hail, rain, lightning, that kind of thing. Which um, is a problem. Yeah. You're still getting thrown around by the currents. Um, it might be possible to go with the flow, so to speak, and go with the rotation of the hurricane, of the winds. Maybe, it, and that would push us out towards the edge, wouldn't it? Uh, Wait, would it? No, it pushes you towards the center. I think. If I'm how do hurricanes how, work? Space hurricanes, it's different. How does space... Okay, so you're saying it would push us toward the center yes, if I just ride the wind. Yes, this hurricane is going to push you to the center if you go with the flow. It does mean that you're going to be hit a lot more with force and wind as you get deeper. Okay, one question that I feel like we would know. How much, how much damage can this shuttle take? What kind of equipment do we have to, like, shields and, and other things? You have a life raft. I feel like that wouldn't life, help. And two life jackets. Is it inflatable? Yes. I think that the red shirts, if they're smart, should take the life jackets while we're not looking. Uh, they're red shirts? <laughs> if they were That's smart, true. they would not be red shirts. They wouldn't, have put, they wouldn't have accepted that uniform. They wouldn't have got hired for being red shirts. They were not. Oh I often gosh. admire the hiring practices of the consortium. They take anyone. Yes. It's true. Anyone. It's true. It, it's, it's really helped with unemployment. You just don't see that kind of person around anymore. <laughs> or um, for very long. <laughs> yeah. We're, th- there is a counter on, on the bridge that is number of minutes since the last work phase, workplace fatality. It doesn't get above 30. May they rest in peace. Okay, I'm going to try and ride the winds. Yeah. Is this going to be feelings or lasers? Um... You've done this before. This is like this. You, you, you don't have to feel your way through this. You just know it. Okay, so I want to get lower. Come on. You get okay. two die. I know. That's a laser feeling. And that's... I got double laser feelings. What is that? Uh, you still only get one question. I still only get one question. Yeah. Okay, so I just get a question. Is the storm actually moving or is the eye staying in one place? Now you realize. Yeah, it's, it's not moving much. It's like sitting... Uh, granted, hurricanes don't move quite fast. Like, they take a few days to get anywhere. But even so, you've been in this thing for like 10 minutes now. Um, you should have... The, the eye should have moved somewhere. Right? But And based on your quick mental arithmetic and all that, you, 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 you figure out it's not it's staying still. It's over one specific spot somewhere in Nebraska. Hmm. Which could be important. It could be. But is it? Okay. So, so what are you going to do now? I'm going to try and ride the winds again. Can I try that again? Well, that's the same action. You can know I not repeat an action? You we can... won't survive this. Fly to the eye. That's what I was trying to do. And now that you know that A is, is stationary, stationary, it might be easier just to go straight forward. Okay. Lasers or feelings? Um, lasers. You want to roll low? Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, seriously? You're the crap pilot. I am not. You are. Someone sabotaged this ship. The engineer reversed my ch- earth my changes. He installed the new Dang OS. him. Dang him to heck. He updated iTunes and it updated everything. Oh, That's I hate probably it when that it. This is why we jailbreak things. This is why we do this. You sail you say as you fall out of the sky. Yeah, apparently. And right into a cornfield. <laughs> Maybe should have gone with space windows. So you're it crash landed in a cornfield. You survived, obviously. Um, one red shirt makes it. <laughs> oh wow! What happened to the other one? He got thrown out the window. Oh, okay. The space window. Yeah, I opened it <laughs> <laughs> to let in some air. It's getting stuffy in here. Your people are very. He's human. Place. He's human. And I'm just weirdly gray. Hmm. The weirdly grave. It's a sensitive topic. Don't, don't ask him about it. Yeah. Of I might just be anemic. Oh. Just anemic, okay? So you're in a cornfield. Um, there's a long crater that, or a crater or ditch that you've you've scraped out of the earth with your crash shuttle. Uh, it is hailing, railing, uh, raining, windy, and, and all sorts of weather. Um, Are we in the eye? No, but you can. See, you're not in the eye, and you're and through all the rain and sleet and all that, it's hard to make out anything. Does it close? Why? Why don't you see if you can find it? 
This, right. how, how are you going to go about looking for the eye? I, I finally figured out how the scanners work on this thing. So I'm going to attempt to use the ship's scanners. I closed the other app. <laughs> yeah, you, you, cl- you uh, got the, the app zapper out, cleaned off. You turned off all those apps that you didn't need. Yeah, on. I rebooted a couple of times. And, oh, there's this. I'm going to jailbreak this thing. It's a ma- It doesn't fly anymore, but it's a matter of principle. So this would be lasers. I succeed twice. Hey, um, yeah. So you succeed. Um, you you know that the the eye is um, actually it, you realize compared to the maps that you've had, the eye is sitting right over the um, the the, uh, the spaceport and the the hab structures of Nebraska Prime, the the first settlement. We'll weather this storm and we'll go straight on into Nebraska Prime. What? Says the red shirt. Holding the... Follow me! He is holding the inflatable raft now because he's confused and not sure what to do now. What? Just hold on to my belt! I'll get us there! Yes, there's a lot of corn here, too! Do you want to hike, hike all the way to Nebraska, friend? How far away is it? It's about... Two or three miles. Oh, we can so make two it. or three miles in this uh, in a hurry. Actually, no, you could totally do that. Yeah, but you're going towards the ice, so the winds are getting stronger and stronger as you keep going. I mean, what category is this hurricane anyway? Space category. Sp category. Uh huh. Um, category. It's a category four. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely what it is. Um. So you you do you do uh, you find a road um, you 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 figure yeah this is going to lead right towards the the habitat um, the winds get stronger and stronger but you you persevere because you you are intrepid and heroic and by gum nothing's going to stop the consortium um, uh, you pass rows and rows and rows of corn and other agricultural projects um, no it's not corn it's got to be some space plant. Space corn? Space corn. It's... Scorn? Uh, there's there's uh, a hybrid corn and potato plant. Only two potatoes. Corn potatoes. Corn potatoes, yeah. Mm. Corn. And, um... Uh, so, like, it's the king of starch. Yeah. Uh, so there, that's its primary export. The primary export of Nebraska is starch. Uh-huh. And they also do uh, turbumbers. Turnip turbumbers. cucumbers. Turbumbers. They're... The, 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 the turbumber crop is coming in well. I'm not a mm. fan. You don't like turbumbers? They're delicious with like a little butter and garlic. Mm. You say as the storms still continue to rage everywhere. They're delicious with a little butter and garlic. What? I'm not a fan. <laughs> so can I trust my feelings to get us there? Uh, yes. And, and, and uh, let's see. And this is navigation, so I'm yeah. an expert. Yes. But this is the feelings. Right. So you want to lo- roll above. Right. Success. One success. Um, so yeah, you, you, manage, you, you manage to get just outside of the eye, but the, the force of the wind and rain is just, it's like an impenetrable wall. Um, h- however, there are structures um, outside of the eye that you could take shelter in. Um, there is... Uh, essentially a vehicle uh, charging station uh, for tractors and other farm implements to to be brought to when they need to be recharged and refueled and such. Um, so you can uh, take shelter and weather and figure out your next plan of action there. So you succeeded, but only one success is a... Uh, uh, you barely manage it, and I inflict a complication, harm, or cost. Okay. So the complication is... You get to the eye, but you're still outside of it. Because there's, like, an impenetrable wall of rain and football and wind. Okay. We'll hide in here for the night. What? Ja, gesture, gesture to the red shirt to just come on inside. Are we playing charades? I grab the red shirt by the arm and drag him inside forcibly. Um, where you find about half a dozen uh, Nebraskan natives, or, or colonists... Ah, good. Hey, are you the consortium? 
Yes. Yes, we are. What's going on in this place? Um, well, there's a, a hole in the roof. We got a bucket underneath it, so that's taken care the of. The storm, man. I had the strangest thing. It just showed up about a week ago and hasn't left since. Uh, I, I'm surprised that there's anything left in those fields. Haven't been washed away. What a weird space mystery this is. Hmm. I'm suddenly on, suspicious of this crop. We're on the surface, so technically it's not really a space mystery. If it's, I don't know. Are you aware that we're not in space anymore? Yes, thank you. No problem. I, I'm Billy Joe uh, Space Ray. <laughs> Indeed. Billy Joe, are there... Uh, Tunnels leading from here to under the city, perhaps some sewage or or electrical. Well, that was the first thing that we thought of, but uh, with all the rain and all, they got flooded. But we do have a tunnel right into the main organizational hub of the the habitat from here, but it's completely flooded. Uh, you, you can't get there's there's no way to get through there. We have built-in vac suits in our consortium uniforms. Yes, we do. do. Uh, so yes, you could you could water. I was about to say spacewalk, and then water walk, and just swim would work. Mm, um, we could swim there. Does uh, the red shirt have a built-in? He has a consortium uniform. It has a red shirt. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So we can take our pet with us. Wonderful. He also is still wearing the life preserver and the the inflatable raft. <laughs> so he's going to struggle to swim. This is- how much clearance is we there? We should have him leave those things. Um, less than like three inches. <laughs> so there's no clearance whatsoever, really. So he's going to be like trapped at the surface, like. <laughs> try- Dude, leave the raft. But but it's an emergency. It's an emergency raft. It, it is an emergency, and, em- and the emergency is the raft. These leave people it. are having an emergency. You must leave the raft for them. Okay. And he gives the raft to the farmers. <laughs> and they just kind of look at him like, is he all right? Like, it's fine. If it's, the water it's, rises, it's normal for it. them. Okay. That, that's the strangest thing. Apart from the flooding underground trapping us in our, ha- our homes and structures, there hasn't been any flooding outside in the fields. It's like the rain's there just to keep us inside or something. Is there mud on my boots? Um... What you would expect from walking in the field, but once you got on the road, there wasn't any mud. How very odd! Wouldn't there still be like flecks of mud on our on our the legs of like our pant legs? Yeah, but it's not like you've been wading through it. I'm I'm wondering if you're looking for a sample. Would that be enough for? Mm, sample? Well, no, but that's a fantastic idea. Okay, so you, we have flecks of mud. We could probably scan those I want with to our, our use your super sweet space phone camera communicator scanner thing with universal yes! translator. Just for the sake of having that that phrase, you know. It's not a tricorder. No, it's not. It's a quad quarter. It's better than a tricorder. Mm-hmm. Tricorders Honestly. were so last century. It's true. Wow, it's also a variable beam phase pistol. No, that's so just included. 2360. That, there's a comma there after. Oh, you, indeed, there is. Yeah. <laughs> important <laughs> commas are important. Commas are important. Like Each shoots and leaves. <laughs> Pandas. Wow. Yeah, they don't fit. Those jerks. Yeah. So you would like to scan the soil sample? Yes. All right. Um, that will definitely be lasers. Um, I'll say you're an expert, but not prepared. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I? No. Uh, Is it too late to help? No. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can still... How are you helping? No. Well, I would... I also have a phone. Yeah, but that, he's already doing that. I... I... Hmm. I'm lending processing power because you can totally do that. So, so you're you're just going. to... I'm using my phone to to make his phone even better and even cooler. It's a quad. Core, it's now an eight core phone, huh? Yes. And why a, the heck not? A heck or an octo quarter, oct quarter, whatever. Uh, that will be a laser's roll. Um, two dice for you. Two dice for me. Dash, I need you to triangulate your signal so that we can quadriscan this and Honest. amplify the signal. You got it. I got a six and a two. What does that even mean? You did get one success, so you do succeed giving them one die to their roll. So you get to one roll one more die. Yay! Two. 
right. Uh, two successes. Is it your number three? Yeah. Oh, sorry. One success and a laser feeling. Um, so, uh, why don't you, do you want to ask the question first and then decide whether before I describe the sure. pound? What's really going on here? I don't know. The soil sample initially is fine. There's nothing out of the ordinary except there's a lot of water here. That's the thing. That water is almost, uh, is, there's a strange chemical reaction. There's an additive to the water. It's immediately dissolving upon impact, unless it's with, um, it, well, it's, it's almost immediate. It, there's still some standing water, but there's not enough to cause a flood. And it Im immediately dissolves within about, or um, not if it dissolves, evaporates within a few minutes. Then it gets pulled back into the, the storm and comes back down again within about a 30 minute cycle, which is incredibly fast and not natural at all. You already knew the storm wasn't natural, but this is how it works. Um, so someone's purposely doing this, but you don't have enough information, because uh, you only got one success, you don't have enough information to further figure out what, why. You don't know what they're doing exactly, why you're there doing this, why the storm's there. Okay, but this is an artificial storm. Mm -hmm. Someone has purposefully done this. Someone is basically trying to lock the farmers in their house, or that could be a side effect. Maybe they're trying to keep the consortium away. Maybe. Suddenly, a horrendous uh, slamming and banging noise is coming from the door. <laughs> I'll get it. Stop, you fool. Uh, what? I nice. draw my firearm. Your, your very little phase. Uh, also, I'm not setting it to... Well, actually, stun is probably good for this. Well, no matter what you set it to, uh, he doesn't hear you in time as he opens the door and cyber zombies fall in, tearing him apart and starting to menace the other uh, farmers. I'm changing my setting from stun Me to too. kill. And, and I believe that's a good cliffhanger to end the first session on. What a weird space mystery this is. Credits and ending theme. Kill the zombies by shooting them in the head. <laughs> you, they can't eat. Is that you is that the ending thing to every Kill episode? Kill the zombies. Kill the zombies. Kill the zombies. Well, if it was the opener, it would have given away the. Yeah. <laughs> now someone needs to paint a uh, "Don't Dead" opened inside. This has been Roll With It Unplugged, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The GM for this episode is Brian McKittrick, running Lasers and Feelings by John Harbour of 1-7 Design. The players are Adam Doc Bracken and Sarah Wells. Your producer is Chris Kruger. For the Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.